Hello, I am Catherine Staley and I am a member of the Recreational Water Solutions team working with the City of McMinnville and the Civil and Environmental Consultants to design Potter Lane Park. Increased flood management issues as well as recent changes in land use, property acquisition, and environmental site assessments prompted the development of the proposed Potter Lane Park project. In addition to designing a stormwater detention pond to mitigate flooding, our team was tasked with creating a park, complete with parking, restrooms, walking paths, and recreational facilities. Our team will now discuss the technical design tasks accomplished for the project. I created a site development plan for the park to establish the locations of the proposed structures and recreational features around the wetland. From there, I created a grading plan to divert runoff to the stormwater management infrastructure complete with ADA compliant walking paths. The well, was designed to accommodate visitors to the McMinnville Park and traffic control devices were designed for the road accessing the parking area. The parking lot layout was designed in accordance with McMinnville's Municipal Code and the ADA's design criteria. A permeable pavement structure for the parking lot was designed in compliance with TDOT's pa pavement design guidelines, signage, and the design speed for the roadway were determined in compliance with METCD science standards and the ASHTO agreement. The hydrological design elements for Potter Lane Park included the design of a stormwater detention pond, rain gardens, and sub-parking storage to manage stormwater runoff, mitigating flooding downstream. An outlet structure for the pond was designed to release excess stormwater from the pond, preventing the pond from overtopping while decreasing the peak discharge from the watershed. The site's new structural elements include a masonry restroom facility, which was validated against the Masonry Society 402-602 code, and a steel pavilion that was designed according to the American Institute of Steel Construction Manual. For the geotechnical design portion of the project, two foundation plans designed with ACI 318 were provided. The pavilion foundation was eight square foundations around each column, and the restroom was given a continuous foundation. An earthwork berm was designed around the detention pond to increase stormwater storage capacity. A challenging aspect was designing the park features around a centrally located wetland. Since the wetland is protected, we intentionally designed a detention pond that would not affect the existing hydrology of the wetland while also supporting the current ecosystem. CE400 taught us the importance of communication, time management, and collaboration while working with the team. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about Potter Park and a special thank you to our mentors in the city of McMinnville for guiding us throughout our project. And as always, go Vols!